Hi folks, uh, welcome back to my channel today. Now it's quite an exciting day. I'm just going to bend down and um, I'm going to pick something up. And what does that mean? It's a bike battery. And also means, folks, that it's a new bike day for me. So uh, I'm going to show you around the bike and uh, describe it to you right now. Now folks, it's quite a rigmarole to try to get the battery in. Uh, you've got to take the seat post out and uh, after that it just basically slides in. It's quite a high capacity battery, I can get about 40 miles out of this, which is, I'm really looking forward to longer journeys. This is the bike uh, in question. It's a Volt uh, Metro and uh, really excited to go on it for the first time and um, it's something uh, that I found after having a wee shot just before I picked it up that it's very very quiet uh, it's got a lot of things going for it it's got the front suspension it's got 20 inch wheels this time it's the Swoby Apple uh, tyres that's on it but 20 inch wheels makes the bike a lot bigger it's like cycling a full size mountain bike we've also got a front light on the bike and a rear light on the bike uh, not got the seat post on yet just going to put that on but uh, the gears at the back make things effortless as well uh, it's the first time I've had an electric bike with gears that was folding that is and uh, it just makes it a fantastic bike all round albeit a little bit heavier because of the, the large large battery uh, so folks, uh, I'm going to try and get out and uh, have a wee run in it and uh, let you know just what I think. Well, that's it complete. I've now got the seat post on and it makes it look more like a bike now than it was. So yeah, I'm uh, really excited today uh, to be trying this out. I've still got the My Rider. I don't know what to do with it, but I think I may have to sell it. Um, It'll be a kind of a sad day to see it go because I really liked that bike. Uh, it was a wee bit on the small side for me, I thought, and uh, it was quite a noisy bike to be running around in. But, uh, you know, I'm not really bothered about that. But, uh, as I say, when I got this, it was just it's like night and day. And um, I'm eager to just try it out, even though the weather's blooming freezing the day. So, folks, without further ado, let's take it out and have a wee run. Before you start the bike up, there's a couple of things you've got to do. One is to switch the battery on, and uh, the other one, we've got a little fob here, and as you can see, you've got to swipe the fob, and that's the bike ready to sort of roll now, so we'll get on our way. Well folks, uh, just going over a wee sort of uh, bumpy part here and uh, what I'm noticing right away is uh, what a power I've got trying to go up these hills. It's just effortless and I'm only on the normal setting here. Um, when I try to brake I've just noticed that the we're 500 miles on the clock here, uh, I think I'm going to have to change the brake pads over because I would say they're definitely worn, but still got a lot of stopping power in them and it's very very quiet, no squeaks, um, so I'm pleased about that. It's an awfully cold day of the day so I don't think I'll be out too long. Bottom's now in the air, so uh, there's going to be a lot of leaves about, especially where I'm going. But acceleration wise, I'm in probably about third or fourth gear here, and it's just effortless. So, I definitely feel good about this bike. And uh, as I say, I don't think you get so many funny loops on this bike either because it just so it looks like a normal bike, even though it's a fold-in. 
Well, as you can see here, today folks, uh, amazing amount of leaves. Talking as well and truly upon us. Quite a good time of the year, right enough. Uh, I don't mind it, but I've got to admit I don't really like the winter cycling. It's just a wee bit too cold up here in Scotland, although I will keep going out. It's just something we've got to do. Now I've still got my My Rider, so um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. Will I sell it or will I just keep it? But I think in the end I'll probably sell it. I'm going to see what this is like for a couple of weeks first. If it's going to perform okay, I wouldn't see the need for two bikes. And I've said to my wife, do you want my rider? But she says, no, I'm too scared to go on a bike. So, uh, and I know what would happen if she did fall off it, which she did the last time when she was on a bike. Uh, I wouldn't be the most popular husband in the world for selling her a bike or for giving her a bike. Uh, so, it's going to be up for sale folks, probably in a few weeks time. Nice of that guy just letting us drive there, getting more from the dogs away. You don't get many of them doing that. So what I know I'm seeing here groups us today folks. Amazing. The transformations in the four seasons that we have. Folks, uh, I'm on a wee bit of a cycle path at the moment, which is quite safe, so I'm pleased about that. Uh, but what a smooth bike. It's just it's something I'm not used to because I had a mountain bike before which was a full suspension and it was also all electric. If you look back you'll probably see I've had one or two if you look back my videos. But they weren't like this. They were kind of hard to go. You have not put enough a lot of sort of effort in. Uh, and they were really, really a lot, lot heavier than what this bike is in fact. I don't know if it's an improvement, because this was a number of years ago, but this is effortless to, to go. Um, what a speed you can get, you know, up to your 15 and a miles per hour, just a matter of a couple of seconds. It's something that uh, I just couldn't quite believe. But there you go. Um, Unfortunately folks, that was a wee bit of a cloudy day today and it's freezing cold but uh, you know if you're getting on a wee bit like myself you can approach retirement or retired then it is kind of essential that you do a wee bit of exercise and what better way than to get out on a wee electric bike it's going to give you lots of fresh air it's going to give you a wee bit of leg movement and, uh, I think it's going to make you less sort of depressed uh, if you're feeling down about retirement. You know, once you're out on your bike, you certainly feel a lot better for it. I know I do anyway. So, uh, that's what I recommend this winter. Even if it's going to be two or three times a week, get out on your bike, folks. Um, well, thanks for watching. Uh, 
my new bike day video. Uh, I'm going to let you see it at a few different angles just before we go. Just about uh, bumped into that post box. Uh, holding on with one hand and falling on with the other, which is probably not recommended. But uh, just wanted to show you the bike for several angles. I seem to have picked the wrong sort of bit to do it though. We're uh, hitting a wee burn here. See that for a minute. Uh, I think we're in some sort of farm land here. But uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep going onwards and uh, see where this takes us today. I think we're coming to a wee sort of uh, I don't know, it's a, a wee small holding here. Uh, it looks like a small holding. Past this before, lots of chickens and things like that, and uh, animals, and also a bit of vegetables. It's great what a, a handheld uh, tripod can do. But I'm uh, cycling here with one hand at the moment. I wonder what these sheep are thinking over there. I sort of wonder what that guy's doing. But yeah, folks, I'm really, really happy with the bike. And uh, I'm so happy with my My Rider. I'm still not sure if we'll sell it or not. I would like to keep both because both are different sort of bikes in all sorts of ways. So folks, uh, just take care, we'll see you in the next wee video. And it uh, shouldn't be too long because I'm going to do a comparison video next between the, the Volt and the My Rider. So that will be coming in a day or so. So just take care and bye bye for now.